Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Pet lambs, they react to my voice every time I do this. <laughs> welcome back guys, so today it's evening time. I'm gonna take you around on some evening checks and we're also gonna move a few yaws and lambs to some fresher grass. <laughs> so guys this is poor Humpy so uh, you remember I adopted him he has a crooked neck he's got a small bit of joint too because when I found him he was very dirty there's his mum calling for him meh, meh. she's a great mammy he'll run back to her Teresa He's a bit lame on his hind leg. So we have the ideal launch pad. The mat on the quad. Glenn here, away, away. Shh. Oh boy, well done. Out, out, Glenn, out. She's very protective, isn't she? Thank you. 
a Chevy and a Hornet, huh? Hey everyone, it's the next morning. Last night and today are horrible. It's been raining for an hour. Just drizzle. A disgusting drizzle all the time. Ooh. As for these half-bred hoggets, they're very slow to get going. But they're hoggets, they take the ram a lot later than the rest of the sheep. It's just the younger sheep, you know, they're not they don't come into heat as quickly, which is fine, that's understandable. Hey girls, when are you going to lamb, huh? There's one now, she's got a very small udder setting to fill up and she's very wide and heavy, so the lamb growth is peaking. Her bag isn't full yet though, so it'll probably be another wee while yet, but she'll probably be a lot earlier than some of them ones. That was the fella that was a newborn in the last video. The lovely wee lamb. It's horrible out weather on you, you poor thing. I suppose we were getting away very lucky. For a long time with the weather. Hello June. You mad yoke. You're still still bringing that stick around the place, aren't you? It seems no more of the hoggets have lambed since. Hello. Where's number two girl? Up. Oh, I look at them. Yes. I have a pair there. Well done, girl. They're only born today as well. Hello. Mum is looking for you. Well done, girl. Oh, I'm not your mum. She's over there, worrying about you. There's the afterbirth placenta. She's snorting at me there, do you hear? Warning me to back off. She's a good mum. We like to see them protective. Well, no, Mr. Fox will have a, a hard time trying to steal one of them lambs. The male blackface yos, they're a very maternal type of sheep, very good mothers, very stubborn with dogs or foxes. So they're really good at the outdoor lambing, at defending lambs. But when a yo has to lay, lay down and push out a second lamb, like honestly, there's not a whole lot she can do. So you have to feel bad for them that way. I'll just have to give this dude a lift across. Go on, your mama's waiting for you. There you go. Well done. What's that? Oh, it's not. I thought that was like a head or ribs or something. It's a piece of plastic. Oh, and that's another piece of plastic. My God. I just keep seeing dead lambs everywhere. Lambing season, I'm not getting enough sleep. Holy hell, look at the udder on that yo. She'd feed a family. She's not lambed yet though. But I'm gonna keep an eye on her. The, the teeth seem small enough, but hmm, I'd be suspicious now. Here's the black yo. You remember the little guys we helped across the stream? She is wild. And there's the two lambs. Good girl, she's a classy old. If they're back in this field, they seem to be managing crossing the stream by themselves now. Hey everyone. I think it's two days after I started this video that I'm now vlogging. We lost one of the Inlam Hoggets last night. Uh, I went down to her, she, was, she couldn't have been more than a few hours sick because I had checked on her uh, about lunchtime. 
and I went down the evening check and she was sick. Petrol is valuable. So I went down the eve uh, evening check and she was down and very, very sick. She was a very laboured breathing. Uh, wasn't sure what it could be, but we just assumed, look, we'll inject her with Calciject, which is for like calcium deficiency or hypocalcemia would be the proper word. Um, so we injected her with that and with the hopes that that might be what it was but honestly we weren't 100% sure because she wasn't really springing up but still we injected her with that anyway but she passed away during the night she was dead this morning so yeah that was a bit of a bummer because it happened very quickly to her and we don't really know how or why it happened um, just going to keep a tight eye on any of the other yos if they look any way dull at all to uh, make sure that we try and treat them for it early. She was just gone past the point of, of rescuing. But she, she went downhill very quickly, which is so strange. Like normally, well, I know sheep, they tend to just drop dead, but you know, with the, but still like I'd have expected to notice something off with her in the morning, seeing she was so bad when I came on her in the evening. Oh well, that's just sheep, isn't it? So I'm just checking on some of the sheep here around home, the weather, has gone horrible but I think it's going to improve for the second half of the week. Also thought I should mention all of the twins here at home have lambs except for one. So they've made pretty amazing progress. So I'm looking out for any hungry lambs. There's a big risk of uh, yo's maybe going uh, off with one tit and not been seen until the lambs are a few days old. Sometimes that can happen. Also a risk when these lambs start getting strong of yo's developing mastitis as well. There is the one sheep that has not lambed. It's nice and cozy there lads. I am currently checking on the half rejoes. So we have like the last 10 to lamb here in a small field. And we had three lambs this morning. So that's a good view, uh, three singles. I just sprayed their navels with intraepiderma because they're kind of dirty. We've had a lot of rain the last two days, Sunday and Monday, but they're all good. They all look fed. They're just very mucky and I was worried about joint hill and their navels. Just everything was lovely and dry until yesterday. So I'm just gonna go out the field now and check on all the yos. The half of yos, we're gonna be tailing them this weekend. So we'll be tail docking the lambs. We don't castrate. So we'll leave all the ram lambs entire and we'll sell them usually as stores or as fat lambs. Springtime is just a really intense time and it's been extremely tough this year too but in fairness we were blessed with how well the sheep have lambed and how they've been going on we made a few changes with rams my gosh we've done really well this year so that is great now it's obviously things we've had more joint till this year in in baby lambs you know but sure that's just part of it isn't it I'm going to walk out the field now and I'll see lots of pairs of lambs running after their yos and that's the medicine you want so it is. Remember that game, um, dead or sleeping? There's also wool as well. It looked like a lamb's leg. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. That's a two year old, a first time lammer around them two lambs. Great job she's doing of them. Where's your mum, dude? The lambs all go off playing this time of year and then I show up and there's chaos. <laughs> but when they're playing, it's a good sign, so we'll not complain.
dad loves that sheep. He knows her mother, so therefore he's obsessed with her. Well, I turned her up for shearing last year and she had only one side of milk. He says, chance her, chance her. For she probably only reared one lamb. I was like, right, I'll give you benefit of the doubt. You can actually still see a faint bit of blue mark where I just sprayed over after shearing her like, uh -uh. but, uh, well, she lost one of her lambs this year. Dad is saying now it's the fox, it's the fox. I don't know, but when we put them in at the weekend for tailing and I put a hand under her and if she has only one side of milk, I will shoot him. And I get shtick for having so many pet sheep, huh? He's only keeping her for her history. <laughs> Wait till he sees this. <laughs> Mam is off grazing, lads. She doesn't give a, a hoot about G. There she is now. <laughs> they're so rough when they're sucking at that age, the four years. Do you remember the rescues, guys? They were very shabby when we first got them. I'll let you have a look at them here. They look fantastic compared to how they used to. And some great lambs at foot as well. That's the single there up in the ditch, one of the early ones. There's a pair there. That's a single, her lamb is sleeping on the ditch, I hope. I'll have a look in a minute. Anyone else? Yep, there's a few over here. They turned out very well, thankfully. We sold on a few of the older yos already with lambs at foot. I was saying to dad, if anything, them sheep are very resilient for surviving what they did. A few more of them there, a single, another single, and the pair, they're early lambs as well. Look at that dude. There's definitely no loss on them anyway. Made a great turnaround, them sheep. There's Black Betty, lads. She's through the NCT. She's flying it. <laughs> oh, delighted with her. Great to have the freedom. I got Bluetooth set up too, so jamming some tunes. Poor Black Betty, huh? I think a doctor used to own her, so she's had a fair career change anyway. Sharing is caring. Good girls. Here's the horses of Phoebe. You absolutely wrecked your neck piece. They are away on a bit of rented ground for a while. A bit of a holiday, you could say. Just giving them a, a wee taste of nuts. Keep them sweet, huh? You expecting any time soon, Pasha? Huh? That was sarcasm, by the way. Oh, you're so wet, guys. Such a yucky day to be born, huh? Meh. You soggy, are ya? Come on. Good lad. Everyone's just curled in with beside their mummies. Oh, a brand new pair. So, for anyone who doesn't know, the, oh, it just dropped. <laughs> uh, the reason I know these are very fresh is because that's the, the O's placenta. So basically, that is what was feeding the lambs while they were inside. Their navels were connected to this, the placenta, the afterbirth. And that was what was feeding them. But now they're born, so they breathe and drink milk. I'm going to move that. I just prefer she didn't eat it. Sometimes they can choke on it. Oh, you know what? This is the one with the really big um, bag. I might actually catch her and check that she's okay milk-wise. It's really, look, it's really big. Like I don't think they've sucked that side yet at all. You're lovely lammies. She seems quite enough, so I'd say I'll just be able to launch at her.
All right, we got Mama. So just gonna check her bag. Good. Yeah, I'm just gonna suck this side, all right. And it's good and soft. So no hard lumps and milk on both sides. Who's the hungriest, huh? I'll try you both. So this fella drank a little bit, but this guy is full. So I tell they both had a suck on this side. I'll just show you the milk. Really good yellow colostrum. So she will produce that for the first few days. It's really important they get that. Okay girl, I'll leave you to it. It's kind of yucky. <laughs> but it's amazing. It's nature. There's a few pairs since. So there is. Oh, it's so soggy and wet, isn't it, guys? Poor little dudes. Plenty of fresh lambs there today now. Good to see. Let's see, have any of the hoggers decided that they want a lamb? Hello, Dolly. How are ya? She's a good one, it's a old lamb too. All right, there's one lamb. Hi girl, how are you doing? Well done. I wonder, did he get a suck? Good girl. I'm just going to put my finger in his mouth. Yep, yeah, it's good and warm. Oh my gosh. That is a savage lamb for a wee hoggit. Go on, buddy, stand up. I couldn't find the crook this morning. Raging. So, he's not cold and she is very fond of him, the creature. I'd be worried he'd get cold. Okay, I'm gonna leave her with him, have a look around, make sure everyone's all right, and then I'll make a decision. I'd be worried now he's just a bit sleepy. All right guys, little dude is standing, but he's not making a whole lot of headway. What I'd love to do is catch her, turn her up and just give him a suck and then I'd be satisfied. She's so mad about him. It's really beautiful. Like for a first time mom. And she's a lovely wee sheep. But she just might be a little bit scared of me now. We'll see. Good lad. Good mom. She's just so quiet, I got a hold of her. What a brilliant mum. There we go. Nice and sheltered. Good girl, fair play to you. Oh my God. That lamb is adorable. Doesn't even look like a black-faced lamb, it looks like a bloody Jacob. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. And it's a yo lamb. All right, guys, the first uh, hogget lamb, a wee Shirley lamb. He's small, but he's mighty. Well done, girl. Motherhood looks good on you, girl. So it's great to have a little bit of good news. The first black face hoggett lamb had a safe delivery. Since this video, three more hoggets have lambed, uh, two more Shirley lambs and the first black face lamb off one of the black face hoggets. All safely delivered and a nice comfortable size. Thankfully they're not coming too big. We were worried which rams they took, um, but so far so good.
we'll just keep a very close eye on them and make sure everything goes okay. Thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye. I hate rain. I'm also Irish. <laughs>